it's always important to have a picture in your head of the final solution. Now I happen to have designed a solution already, a contact manager, so I can show it to you, but when you're designing your own solution, you should probably sketch it out. Visualize it in your head to make sure you know where you're going. Luckily, again, I can just go ahead and show you this and get you an idea where we're going to end up, because this will help you understand each piece that gets put together. If we just start off and start building it without some kind of visualization in your head, I think you're going to be a little bit lost, and this will really help you to understand where we're going. So let's walk through the browse mode features as well as some of the other things inside of this solution. So you can see we have a button bar right up here some very basic stuff like a new contact, a delete contact, we can even find duplicates, print labels, things like that. There's some buttons up here that are differentiated. We have the find, we can go to list view. That's going to show you multiple records at once. Go back to form view or you can click on a particular icon and go to that one. It doesn't matter whichever one you want to. You can see that we have navigation between the records right here we can see what record we're on. We have all kinds of information as far as the contact. We have the salutation, the title, first name, last name, the company. We have the addresses, multiple addresses, of course, this is a portal. Multiple phone numbers and multiple internet contacts, which would be websites and email addresses. All in portals again, or other tables for that matter. We have a pop-up menu here to display the type of contact it is. And then we have these tabs down here. We can link unrelated contacts if we want. If they're not related by, let's say, company, which these two people are, these are automatically connected. But we can actually link, pop up a menu and link two people together who don't have seem to have any relation at all. But you can see that Database Pros is John Mark Osborne, so is Ida Osborne. That's why she also shows up here. We have a complete correspondence section where you can come in here and add your correspondence. But also, as you send emails, and if you go ahead and do some mass mailing through the correspondence section, you'll also see that you get to have that information go into the correspondence history right inside here. So we'll get all that information about what you did, what letters you sent. You can see all kinds of stuff about what you sent them and, and remind yourself so you know you did it and, and what you said to them. There's going to be a reminder system or as I call it to-dos. You can set up a date and have it do that. You can apply documents to it. You have a miscellaneous area. I didn't have a good name for this, but this has a date of birth. You can add your family members in here. So when you contact that person, you remember who they are, even have their date of birth. We can assign groups. Doesn't, you know, could be a Christmas list and new product announcements. Assign people to multiple groupings so you can say, find everybody on the Christmas list. We have a notes, of course, with a timestamp, a map area. I won't wait for that to load, and even custom fields here. And you may not find this useful if you're designing it yourself, but I, I found this useful because this is a, a product that was commercialized. And so sometimes people go, oh, I need an extra field you don't have here. Well, let's put some custom fields in there. Now let's take a look at some of the, you know, the, the back end stuff, the guts of it. And we'll go into our layout mode first. And what we're going to learn about here are all the tools to make all these things happen. Now the tools are going to be a little bit different in FileMaker 16, remember that. There's no way to get to the tools down here or to show the status toolbar. So you have to come over here and show the status toolbar this way. And then you can see all the tools there. So don't, don't forget that, it's, it's kind of a little different. It makes a cleaner window in FileMaker 16, but you don't, have, you don't have the zoom controls here either. You don't have a lot of stuff down here. And it'll take a little while to get used to it, but ultimately I'll think it'll, it's better in the long run because you'll have a nice clean window without all that you know, extra stuff at the bottom. So we'll go through most of these tools and all the different types of parts along here, everything that you will want to learn about creating a database. Of course, we'll go into find mode. Now, we're not going to really explain the basics of find mode, but we're going to tell you how a lot of these operators work. You know, you'll see all these operators here. What do they do? How can we best find information? Not how does a basic find work. And let's go and cancel that, or actually, there we go. And we'll go into our manage database as well. There's where all your schema is. This is all the, the structure. And you'll see that we have our tables here. We have our fields in each one of the tables. We can change them here. We have our relationships. So you can see all the relationships, these mathematical equations I talked about, between all the different tables so you can do certain things. All this stuff will be covered. We're going to create a file from scratch and get to this end game right here. 
That will include everything under this manage, manage security. So you can put accounts and privileges and extended privileges in there. You'll do value lists, of course. You'll go and make all these layouts you see here. We'll come in here and work with all these areas. We really won't spend a lot of time with external data sources, but we'll work with custom functions, custom menus, so we can make menus appear however you want them to. In fact, you'll see when I go ahead and do this, if I choose the right custom menu, because I'm in developer mode, but you can automatically turn these on when it opens. You can see I have different menus up here, so we'll discuss how to make those custom menus. So we're going to enter this really great development world of FileMaker, this easy to develop you know, area in FileMaker and make a, a really uh, complete solution here with all the different developer features you see in, in you know, FileMaker. And we'll be creating a contact manager, but you'll really be able to apply any of these techniques to the solution you're creating for your unique situation.